We are going to start very soon closing an award ceremony of the UK Open Memory Championships. We have numerous prizes, medals and surprises to award and to act as the genial Zeus and giver of gifts, I would like to introduce my old friend, colleague and co-founder of competitive memory sport, Professor Tony Buzan. This Open UK Championships is the highest ranked there has ever been so far in history. So it's a very, very highly ranked tournament. Your performance is excellent, national records broken, and the setting here, I mean, it was actually the Escargo who offered this as a location. And I hope that you find this satisfactory, that the food satisfactory, mm. that you've had an enjoyable time here. None of you look knackered or tired <laughs> so obviously your minds are still fresh you've done uh, extremely well and rather than waiting to the end to thank the various committees and so on you have obviously made the championship it's a very high-powered team you are a wonderful example for children around the world and in Pakistan they are now going to have 180 million people in Pakistan know about what you have done. And children in Pakistan are already wanting to be like the Grand Masters, like the international competitors, because they want to be like you. You'll be pleased to know that in the press and the media around the world, the brain is ramping up. It's appearing more and more and more times. Memory, the same. Mind mapping, the same. And during the next two years, it's accelerating. Special award to follow on from Tony's thanking of the arbiters. All the way from Slovenia, our latest recruit to the arbiting team, Daniel. Wow. My name is Vanya Jus and I come from Slovenia. I work in non-government organization, Universum Minerva, and I had a great wish to become an arbiter in uh, thinking uh, sport, and that wish came through here in London. I learned about te different techniques, about uh, thinking, about uh, improving your memory, and I learned about uh, scoring, and uh, this, these things I will bring to Slovenia, and I will um, spread this knowledge among our uh, students and they will use it and they will also come here to uh, compete in these memory championships. Yeah. Competition over these last two days is actually <coughs> two competitions. We have the competition to find the UK champion and we have the competition to find the UK Open champion. So obviously the UK Open champion is can be won by anybody here, regardless of which country you originate from. So the bronze medal winner for the UK Open Memory Championships is Marlo. Thank you. The silver medalist in the UK Open Memory Championships is Yanja. Hello, I'm Yanja from Sweden and Mongolia and I became the silver medalist at the UK Open 2015 and I got in total eight medals and I almost won but I didn't but it's okay I love memory so that's the only thing that matters and I love my memory competition friends they are what make this whole competition worth it. Winner, the current, the new UK Open Memory Champion and recipient of the best international trophy, 
Simon Welter. Absolutely exhausting, but it was great in the end to get first place. And I mean, it's now like it's after after every memory competition, everyone is happy, laughing, and I think we will go and eat something nice and enjoy our evening. Greetings to you, and well, I say I'm out and looking forward to seeing you again at the next championship. Bye. We have a special award for the senior memory champion. Just you wait. Hi, my name is uh, Søren Dantoft. I'm representing Denmark. And uh, <coughs> I have one quality. I'm the oldest competitor in the world. I'm oldest, also the best senior. But the, the interesting thing is that you can start this at any age, I would say. Uh, it's interesting that uh, when I started, for example, I thought I would never go beyond eight digits in, in spoken numbers where you got, get the digits at one a digit a, a second. Now I can do in 90, 100. It comes with training. So you can really start at any age and be pretty good at it. It's interesting to be with such great people as here. They are very, very lively and uh, great fun to be with. So you don't really feel an age difference. It's, it's, uh, it's in your mind. You can do it. Third place in the UK National Memory Championships with a score of 4,582 championship points is Ben Pridmore. And then you also receive the bronze, yeah, bronze medalist trophy, <laughs> and to help you improve your memory. <laughs> Four thousand six hundred and seventy-four points, as we said, breaking that 4,500 barrier is James Patterson. <laughs> And James, of course, is also now, or has always James. also been, the highest ranked Welshman in the competition. <laughs> the new UK memory champion, national memory champion, with a remarkably good score of 5,249 championship points. And recipient of the mystery, <laughs> mystery prize <laughs> is Mother <Mono> Knight. <laughs> I am Marlow Knight. I just won the UK Memory Championship and uh, it's great. I feel really good. I've trained very hard um, for this for, for the last two years to try to be uh, to try to win this and um, it's really good. And if anyone is like thinking of taking up memory sports, then do it because it's really good. It's good fun. Uh, you meet a good crowd of people and uh, and it's just just fun. You can compete uh, in an intellectual sport and uh, it's great. This United Kingdom Championship has something unique in the history of the championships and what it is is fun and humor and laughter and joy. Wherever I've come I've never seen anybody here can <laughs> right? You're all happy. And when you talk to each other, it's always witty. And you compare you know, the way you remember the binary digit. It was a wonderful human conversation, really joyful. And so on that note, 
that for me is the most memorable thing about this championship. You and your real joy. Congratulations. I'm really happy to win the bronze medal in f Images. Um, it was really hard to practice in the discipline. I changed my system totally. Um, I learned some uh, some backgrounds and yeah, I was practicing the discipline uh, each time. And finally, I got a score um, in 348 again. It was the same score as the um, championship in Germany. But I'm really happy about the score and yeah, I got the third place. <laughs> My name is Sebastian, I'm from France and last year it was my first event in, in London and basically after one year um, I improved my score by 50 percent so it's like it's like amazing it's like when you are running daily you you feel your body stronger and this is the same with brain you you can improve your memory your brain and it's not something like uh, like superpower, but it's like in daily use, you you feel better, you feel more confident, and definitely I invite you to to join us like a, a runner. You just practice your brain, and you will love it. Hi, I'm Nelson Dellis. I'm the U.S. Memory Champion, representing the U.S., and uh, this is my second time competing in the U.K. Championship, and my fifth or sixth time competing internationally. Uh, I'll be at the World Memory Championships and I'm super passionate about memory and uh, I hope you're inspired to train your mind as well. Hello, my name is Alexander Keane. I've been part of the World Memory Championships well, and today at the UK Open Memory Championship. It's been an absolutely marvellous two days. Lots of events, lots of very happy people, lots of very happy competitors. The, it's been one of the, the smoothest running events that we've ever had. Um, the, all the uh, marking sheets came in from the competitors and we had a marvellous team led by Gabby, I believe. Guten Tag, my name is Gabriele Kapus and I'm from Germany. I'm an arbiter of the World Memory Sports Council and I was leading the arbiting room for the UK Open Memory Championship 2015. We were a team uh, of five to seven persons every day and we were busy marking and checking thousands and ten thousands of numbers, of words, of binaries, of abstract images that we got from the competitors. And we needed to find the scores. And uh, we needed to work very precisely according to the handbook of arbiters and competitors from the World Memory Sports Council. And that's what we arbiters are there for. We need to make sure that each competitor gets that score that he deserves. Sometimes there are problems. There are like score queries and the competitor comes to us and asks, is it really true? Did I only achieve like 79 binary numbers? I thought I'd had 300. So it's important for us to relocate his competitor's sheet quickly and then to check a third one because we always double check every sheet that we get and in this case we have a triple check and then we find out is the score correct and so we tell the competitor or do we have to change anything and of course we will do so. It's once again, it's been the most amazing championships and uh, uh, I'm really thrilled once again that TV Apex are here to share this with the world. We have such an important message to get across of the importance of memory and uh, the difference it can make in people's everyday lives just by using the, uh, the simple techniques that are used by the competitors. As you'll have seen from the extracts from the competition, they make it look so easy. But uh, to, um, to achieve at the level that they have been achieving today takes a lot of practice. But the techniques
techniques they're using are so simple and uh, by getting interested in uh, memory and learning those techniques it's going to affect everything that you do in life whether you're studying whether you're uh, at work whether you're in a profession whatever it is the use of your memory is in everything that you do and by having simple techniques to make the most of it will make a massive difference to your life um, here at uh, Lescaga restaurant in London Soho we've had um, wonderful hospitality we've been looked after tremendously and it's the most amazing and iconic location without question one of the best restaurants in London so uh, we've been massively grateful for them to host us and to look after us so well over the last couple of days uh, with our competitors traveling from all over the world uh, to uh, to join us in this event um, there's nowhere better for them to have come and have experienced uh, London at its best. Uh, we've been very, very fortunate to have the two founders of our sport, uh, Tony Buzan and uh, Raymond Keane, uh, to uh, uh, invigilate and to uh, welcome and to host uh, the event. And uh, their inspiration, I know, has made a massive difference to all of the competitors. And um, seeing them recognised for their achievement here um, is uh, uh, such a, uh, a wonderful thing. They've all been working so hard for so long to take part in this championship, to see the results of uh, all of their hard work. And uh, with many of them, I hope, taking those results and going to China to compete against the rest of the world uh, in our uh, World Memory Championships in December. So uh, they're on a fascinating journey. But uh, if you've been inspired to find out more about memory do visit the website www.worldmemorychampionships this is something that you can do at home so uh, do be inspired do learn more and um, the wonderful world of memory awaits you